and welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting today's Times Cryptic Crossword live for you. Now, this puzzle has a whopping snitch rating, which is the unofficial uh, measure of difficulty for the Times puzzle. Um, it is right up there in terms of the hardest puzzles in the last six months or so. And I happen to know that this was set by a friend of mine, Jason Crampton. So uh, we don't often know the exact names of the uh, the setters for the times puzzles because they don't they don't normally have a by you know by X um, uh, on the pages which they should do I think but anyway this is this is by Jason who is a bit of a bet noir for me um, last time I did a Jason puzzle I had Devil's own job finishing it um, so <laughs> this could be this could be a long video um, but yeah before there were two things I wanted to mention before we kick off today the first is if you do enjoy hard cryptic crosswords then do check out our Patreon where Mark always has a go at the Times Club monthly special which is a brutal puzzle um, and he tries to do it without a dictionary it's really a phenomenal watch um, and uh, I think some of you might enjoy that and the other thing that we've got going on at the moment which is our sort of perfect Christmas present for puzzle loving folk is our fog of war um, sort of story Sudoku hunt so there's there's 10 fog of war Sudokus interspersed in a novel and um, yeah, it, it funded in three hours, which is incredible. So it is going to get made and it will be delivered in time for, for Christmas. So you might you might want it for yourself or you might know somebody in your life who, who, would, who would enjoy it. So check it out. I'll try and remember to put a link on the screen. But with that said, let us kick off. Uh, it's that one, isn't it? It's not the quick cryptic. It is the full blown. So look, it looks like it's in the right place. Right, let's get cracking. New science lab. Looks like an anagram of something, doesn't it? Science lab is probably difficult to get to. Difficult to get to. Oh, come on, this would be such a good answer if I could get it straight away. Uh, I want it to be something like unachievable, um, but there's no H in that. I inaccessible. Inaccessible, I think. That feels about right. It's funny with anagrams, the way you sort of... Um, you know, they feel right. You know, I wouldn't now propose to cross off all the letters, but it feels about right. Let's try one down. Oh, isthmus is going to be the answer here. Narrow strip of land, lacking enclosure. Oh, if, if it's not isthmus, um, I will be astonished. I'm going to put it in and then try and justify it. Um, na an isthmus is, of course, a narrow strip of land. Um, lacking enclosure for animal runs. Hmm. That's odd, isn't it? Uh, I can't justify that at all. Well, okay, I've got a bit. Of, I'm going to take. I'm sure it's isthmus. I just, I just can't justify it. Um, by the way, let's get the dictionary up. There's me looking up a, a classic cracking the cryptic word there. Um, so isthmus. It, oh, hang on. Well, there it is. Narrow neck of land. You can see it's absolutely bang on the definition there. Um, and uh, yeah, well, anyway, let's carry on. Two, two down. Referred deal, subject to review involving law lord. I think law lord can be LL as an abbreviation. Referred, allured. It feels like it's something like that. Oh. <laughs> Deal subject to review. Is that saying that's an anagram of the word deal because we review it? It's subject to review. And that would give us... Hmm. Well, that would give us L-U-R in the middle of that. Involving a law lord. Why is... <laughs> I don't think L-U-R is an abbreviation. It's not one I know referred I don't, oh alluded alluded that's what it is it's um milad so uh sort of <laughs> you might uh, i don't know if anyone actually speaks like that but you might say milad um lud here if you're referring to a lord you know if you were before before a great lord you might say, oh, my lord milad 
Um, so I think alluded, that's better, isn't it, than allured, actually, as a, as a synonym for referred. So we, we have got an anagram of deal with lud inside it, and that's going to be the answer. It doesn't give us any great checking letters. Let's carry on using our starting letters. Three down. What flows when measuring unusually dry places? Could this be an anagram of dry places? What flows when measuring unusually dry places? Gosh, I've actually got this. Now, this is a word that it's a water clock. It's a word for a water clock. And the only reason I've ever come across this word in my life is in cryptic crosswords. It is the word clepsydra. Um, and I think that's how you spell it. I don't think there are too many options. Once, you know, I tend to pronounce things according to how I hear them. Um, and I think I think this is correct. Um, it looks like it's the correct anagram for, for fodder. Uh, yeah, and it is the name for a water clock. So that's that's quite a good guess. Uh, four down decreases forty percent of lines in text. Hmm. Well, for, I mean, the thing about the word lines is it's five letters long, and that means 40% could be just two of those letters, two-fifths of the word. So decreases, slims, SMS, SMS, gosh, that's right, isn't it? An SMS is a text message. So LI, 40% of the word lines in SMS. And so far, Jason, <laughs> Jason, you haven't got me yet. <laughs> Five down. Angers, ayers, policeman involved, cop involved in international deal. Angers. Policeman involved. It must be cop, mustn't it? In international deal. International might be a baby might be abbreviatable to I. I'm not sure about that. So uh, so that would suggest that the definition is the word angers. And I need to put a word for a cop. Well, word for a policeman. I'm thinking cop. In I plus a word, a three letter word. Well, it depends how long the cop, how long the synonym for policeman is. But if it was cop, I need three letters that means deal. Um, not, no, my brain isn't telling me that. Let's try six down. Lively girl, sh cut short, character embracing bill. Well, a bill in cryptic crosswords is often AC for account. It can, can also be ad as in an advert. But I th so I think this is going to be a name of a lively girl. Cut short character, that could be a letter cut short. So L E L E double T E. Embracing Bill. Almost try it's almost trying to be lettuce, but I don't think it is lettuce. Um Lively Girl. La oh Ladette. Ladette is what we're looking for. Um Okay, so it's, it is add in most of the word letter, which is, of course, a character. So we cut short the word letter, put add in the middle of it, a ladette. Sorry, I should have got that more quickly. I, I was on to the right lines. I just, for some reason, ladette didn't occur to me very quickly. Let's try nine across. Person with no faith in country where Democrat gains advancement. Okay. This must be infidel, I think because that is a person with no faith. And yes, I have got this. So the way this works is a person with no faith is the definition. So we cut the clue there. Let's read the rest of it. We then got the word in. And I think that is just the word in. Literally, we write it in. Then we've got country. Now, country is a field. You might say that's beautiful countryside, very nice fields. So field now we take the D, which is a valid abbreviation for Democrat, and we advance it up the word. And if we do that, we can create, ah, if we could type, we could create that, infidel, a person with no faith. I t do this every week. I'm going to do it again today. You can't just abbreviate any word in a clue to its initial. It has to be supported by the dictionary. And there you go. 
under the, it's the first thing under D is Democrat, and that is why this clue in this clue that D there can advance up or forwards in the word field. Now let's go back to this one then. Ang in flames. No, anger's in, anger's infuses <laughs> in. What's the cop? Policeman fed. Fed is more of a sort of agent. Oh, could this be sedate? 12 across? No, I don't think so. Wooden support used to raise contents of beds. I want that to be, when it says contents of beds, I think the, the Jason, <laughs> we can refer to him as Jason this time. I was going to say the clue writer, but it's Jason. Um, I think the, that Jason is trying to make us think about beds that you sleep in. But I think actually it might be a reference to beds that you grow plants in. Uh, wooden support. Strut. Hmm. I don't know actually. I'm not sure. There's quite a lot going on in that clue. There's a few different ways of reading it. Let's see if we can get this one. Mistress places importance on flowers. <sighs> Ladies' fingers? Are they flowers or are they, is, that, is that okra? Mistress lady places importance on st ladies' tresses? Could there be a... I've never heard of that, but I quite like that from the wordplay. If that's a flower, if there's a flower called a lady's tress, then you could justify this answer by saying a mistress is a lady. And if you place importance on something, you stress it in the plural stresses, and that would give you ladies' tresses. I'm very, if that's supported by the crossing entries, I, I will definitely leave that in there. So mm, the one thought I had about this clue, contents of beds, maybe it's not talking about beds in the garden or beds in the bedroom maybe it is the contents of the word beds which would be the ed so maybe this ends ed because they are those letters are the contents of the word beds and if that's true we're stilted it's right stilted if, if you're wooden as an actor you would be stilted wouldn't you you're sort of you know you're encumbered and a support, a support used to raise is a stilt. Beautiful. Very clever wording. Very nice. Ah, and that puts fed to bed, as, <laughs> um, to borrow a phrase, um, in five down. So it's nothing to do with that. Angers in... Oh, come on, Simon. Why? I mean, this... In... in f... <sighs> ah, international deal? Could it be a treaty? Angers oh i don't know that's so annoying 14 across bold daughter wanting sisters of parents sisters of parents would be aunties wouldn't they dauntless or something <laughs> that's right that's clever okay <laughs> it's not aunties um but if you were wanting if you were without if you were lacking in a sister of your parents you would be aunt less you wouldn't you would you <laughs> which is clever isn't it that's why the question mark is there because i mean there obviously isn't a word aunt less but it, if there was it would mean for, to be wanting of an aunt um and d is daughter so d aunt less gives bold dauntless ah so inflict it looks like doesn't it deal oh i suppose if you inflict damage on something you deal damage to it those of us <laughs> those of us battling still with the uh, galactic puzzle hunt will be familiar with the concept of cards dealing damage um, now why is this hmm what on earth is this about then so if it is inflict because that means deal angers policeman involved in international can international maybe be int int angers 
policeman would then be Flick. F-L-I-C. That's nonsense, isn't it? That can't be right. Um... Wow, okay, I'm taking in flicked out. I can't justify it. I mean, at least it's a word that is synonymous with one of the likely definitions in the clue. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I can't justify it. So I will come back and hopefully I'll be able to, my brain will unscrabble it in the meantime. 15 down. Terminal. Losing one third of trains is not right for board. Terminal. Could be the name of a, I mean, I don't think it is, but I was thinking, could it be the name of a railway station that is a terminal? Terminal. I don't know. I'm not seeing that one. This would be the sort of holy grail, wouldn't it? If we could solve oh, seven down converted period styles, well, it's an anagram of period styles, I think, in a novel way. Oh, come on. Um, come on, come on. Something is it's going to be an adverb, isn't it? In a novel way. Oh, come on, Simon. It is. I want it to be something like episodically, but it's, I don't think it is, in a novel way. I don't know. It probably ends with Y. Let's see if we can justify that. Sweeten start of contract, providing opening fittingly. Oof. Sweeten. Beginning with Y. Oh, I don't like that at all. Maybe that's wrong then. Okay, let's try eight across. Desire. Okay, I can do this one. If you work something out, you solve it. So if you work it out again, you resolve it. And if you say resolve in a slightly different way, you might say resolve. And if you resolve to do something, you decide to do it. So that's slightly easier. Eleven across. Continuous exercise almost causes stroke. Continuous exercise almost. <laughs> What's that? Causes stroke. It's a good clue, isn't it? Continuous exercise almost causes stroke. I mean, it's a, it's a sentence you could read in a in a newspaper. Continuous exercise. I mean, and not just in the crossword clues. Um, Thirteen across. You are wearing top. You see, uh, this is coming more into vogue in cryptic crosswords now, sort of text speak. And you are in text speak would be the letter U followed by the letter R. And if we wear, if we put the letter U and the letter R in a word for a top, and I'm thinking the word lid looks good, we get lurid. And that certainly means brightly coloured. So let's go back. Oh, this must is wrong. Oh, ins oh no, no. Insular? Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, Isthmus has been wrong since I put resolve in. Narrow, okay, well, at least that explains why I couldn't solve it. In terms I couldn't justify it. Narrow strip of land. Lacking enclosure. Enclosure can be ENC for animal runs. Ooh. If so, oh, maybe maybe it is insular. If if your if your views are insular, I think they're narrow. So maybe narrow is the definition. So strip of land, peninsula. God, that's clever. So it's peninsula, missing pen, which is an enclosure for animal runs. And this I remember. This is what Jason did last time. Jason is a master of this. So. As a crypt, as a, somebody who's done a lot of cryptic crosswords, when I see the word runs, I find it very hard not to view that either as the letter R or as an anagram indicator. But here, Jason knows that. So he knows that if he puts the word runs in the clue, it will mislead some solvers. Um, ah, it's very clever. Yeah, it's very clever. Fair enough. All right, what's this then? Continuous exercise. 
almost causes stroke. Ah, uh, continuous is endless, isn't it? Exercise could be Pilates or PE. Almost. Causes stroke. Oh, I don't know. And oh, oh, that's strange. I thought this was going to be ending in L-Y. Oh, no, I've got another thought. OK, so in a novel, I thought convert. <laughs> yeah, he's, I think he's done it again. <laughs> because I thought converted was going to be the anagram indicator. So I had to anagram period styles. But if we read the phrase in a novel way, that's saying in a new way. So that could be indicating it's an anagram. In other words, it's an anagram of period styles that means converted. And that makes it much more likely to end ed. Um, converted. It is, if you can convert it, it's going to be... It's going to have to have a Y in it then, isn't it? Converted. But I can't put... I, can't, I was thinking, wondering if I could get the word crypt in there, but no, I can't at all. Um, all right, I don't know. <laughs> it's a short... Well, right, so we've done okay at the top. We've got this one and this one. And obviously seven down. Let's see if we can get this one. How long it will take obligation to overwhelm spirit? How long it will take is the time span. It's the obligation what's that duty onus to overwhelm spirit that could be rum or gin as well as ethos um don't know let's try and get that one advocate spending week in bed advocate spending week in bed Um, I don't know that one either. That's bad, isn't it? We're starting to get stuck here. 17 down. Sentimental alumni upset about closure of Harvard. Well, closure of Harvard, I can think of no way that is not the letter T. <laughs> I mean, if it isn't, he's fooled me again. I mean, because there can't be a synonym for closure of Harvard. So it must be the letter D. So it's an anagram of alumni. And again, alumni is, a, alumni is a cheeky word because alumni, you always think of old boys. And I think OB sometimes comes up in that context. So, but anyway, alumni anagrammed because it's upset about D and it means sentimental. And therefore the answer is, um, ah, Simon, what's wrong with me? Sentimental. Ah, why doesn't, I don't know that, do I? It looks like it ends A-L to me. Mun, munidil, muni, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I haven't got that. I don't know that one either. 18 down. Inconsiderate bank is putting husband down. Inconsiderate. If you're, I think this is going to be inconsiderate. And then it's going to be a word for a bank, which could be a river bank or it could be an actual bank, where the, the letter H is pushed further down the word. Inconsiderate. Uncouth. This doesn't really mean inconsiderate, I don't think. Although there is a bank coots, isn't there? But that hasn't got an H in it. Um, bank. Ah, oh, inconsiderate. I quite like. Yeah, maybe bank is a four letter word because this inconsiderate ending in ish, that feels quite likely, doesn't it? hellish or selfish shelf bank is a shelf there we go silly simon so a bank 
a bank is a shelf and then we 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 lower so it's set shelf is for bank is and then we put the husband further down the h further down and we get selfish now can we get this one a difficult test checked by german and not disputed well german and is the word the german word for and is und und so i'm wondering if this is difficult a word for difficult then a word for a test and it's got und in it and it means not disputed hmm um don't know i haven't got that one right let's see have we looked no we've not looked at 19 down drinking game finishing midway after friends return okay so the way i read the clue is we need a word that means drinking then we want a word for a game that we're going to chop halfway through it and that's going to appear halfway well that's sorry that's going to appear, appear after in the clue a word for friend which we reverse now the short synonym for friend that comes up a lot is pal but there's also bud isn't there so drinking so lap it lapping ping pong is a game yeah okay so lapping for drinking so it's a reversal of pal followed by ping from half of ping pong right so what's this one advocate spending week in bed a bed is a litter but why are we spend spending week makes me want to say if you i mean if you spend something you you leave it you lose it don't you so you know if i spend 10 pounds i no longer have the 10 pounds so I'm wondering whether I can take W for week or WK from a word that means either advocate, lawyer, layer. That's it. OK, so I got I got to that in the end. So an advocate is a lawyer. Take the W out, spend it. Then we get a word for a bed, which is a layer. Now we've got a Y at the start of this one. Bore gave way under pressure, yielded. Why is that right? That's oh yeah, okay, it is right because what it's it, um, if if you had a field and you harvested it, you might describe what what it would bear would be its yield, wouldn't it? So in the past tense, yielded. Yeah. Okay. So it is a double definition. It just felt tricky to unscramble it. Now, how about this one? Half of people in cast like glamour models. Well, half of people in cast like. Oh, I've got this one actually. I've got this one. This is a risque one for the Times. Um, okay. So the answer is topless. So glamour models might be topless, no bras on. Half of people is half of the word people. That is P-L-E, you can see it there. And that goes in a word for cast, as in throw. If you throw something, you toss it. So toss around pl gives you topless, which is like glamour models. Um, so let's try this one now. Swindle, I'm going to guess at. Spotted, no, it's not going to be right. Spotted Duke in Berlin dancing, at least. Well, it... <laughs> It must be. It must be D for Duke in an anagram of Berlin. It must be. Um, spotted brindle. Yeah, I think that is a word. That I think it might be a word that describes horses if they're spotted. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, what else could it really be? I mean, you could swap the L and the R, but blinder. That feels much less likely to me. I'm pretty sure I've heard of the word brindle. Let's try this one then. Terminal. Uh, somethingable. 
it what looks like it wants to be and what's this one difficult test and not disputed unchallenged or something oh that might fit let's put that in unchallenged okay so difficult test a test is a challenge oh okay <laughs> as usual <laughs> this is classic Jason. So rather than just putting test checked by German and not disputed, because a test to test something would be to challenge it. Jason uses, he, he's more descriptive, uses difficult test, which gives me the opportunity to think it's a word for difficult then a word for test. But actually it's just a difficult test being a challenge. And that's checked by or surrounded by, restricted by, und, which we know is the German word for and. So, and that gives us unchallenged, which is not disputed. So this is something a bull. Terminal. Losing one third of trains. How, uh, okay, trains is six letters, isn't it? So one third of it would be maybe the T and the R. Terminal is not right for board. is not right for board uneatable Untre yeah, untreatable untreatable so it's untreatable as in a terminal illness and we take out one third of the word trains the t and the r and we get uneatable um, which means not obviously inedible not right for board as in well i suppose bed and breakfast or board board i think can mean the food can't it um, you know, if you have full board in a hotel, it means you're eating. Um, so let's do 22 down. Republican replacing head of firm in support of monarch. Regal? Royal? Uh, it's going to be something like that. Or, hmm. Republican replacing head of firm. Uh, okay. No, I think I think the definition is in support of monarch, which would be royal, as in a royalist would be somebody who is in support of the monarch. And loyal, I think loyal, if you're loyal, you're staunch, aren't you? You're firm. So I think it's loyal with Republican R replacing the head of the word loyal that, that for the starting L. That would give royal, which I think is the answer. Um, now, sweeten. Hmm. Mollify. No. Start of contract. Provide. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, something. I think I've almost got this. I haven't. I've nearly got this. Right. The way I'm reading it. I still can't quite get it, but 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 providing is very important here, because providing is synonymous with the word if. I will do this providing you do that. I will do this if you do that, and I think therefore that allows me to put this if in here. Now the start of contract is going to be a C. Now I'm unsure whether that's going to go here, or here. Converted. Mm, no. Okay, there is no C in period styles. So that suggests that the C goes there. So it means sweeten. Calcify? That doesn't mean sweeten, does it? Um, sweeten. Fancify? So start of contract C. Providing if opens, so is in the middle of a four-letter word, which means fittingly. I want that to be ably or something like that. Fittingly, aptly. Bother. <laughs> um, ah, duly, dulcify. I saw an Abyssinian maid, and on a dulcimer she played. Um, dulcet tones, sweet tones. So although my classical knowledge of language 
they're, they're appalling. I do think of dulcify as meaning sweetly so, or dul sweeten. So duly certainly means fittingly. CIF in the middle gets us to where we need to be. So let's try that one. Oh, we've looked at this one. Oh, maudlin. Sentimental is maudlin, isn't it? I was trying to put the wrong ending in it. Uh, I was trying to end it in AL and I couldn't see what it was. But now, now I see it as LIN. I understand, or L blank N. So maudlin means sentimental. So what's this one then? Time share. How long it will take obligation to overwhelm spirit? How long it will take time span? How long it will take obligation to overwhelm? Sorry, I'm just trying to understand why. I, I want it to be timeshare, actually. Um, and I can't justify it, so it probably isn't that. Let's try that one then. I've not looked at this one. Most of team learning endless. Oh, well, that's going to be law, L-O-R-E. L-O-R-E is sort of the, the combined learning, isn't it? So if we take the word law, L-O-R-E, to make it endless, we get L-O-R, squalor. Most of team, squad. Okay, so that's squad. And, well, most of the word squad, so chop the D off. Most of the word learning, or word for learning, law. And then we get squalor, which is certainly filth. So this looks like it ends with S-E-D, doesn't it? Um, in a novel way. In a novel way, why can't I see what this is? Pre, pre something lie. <laughs> Where's the why going in it? In a novel way. It's not going to be something like proselytized, is it? I hate that word if it's something like that because I don't know really what it means. Proselyt. That would give me a D here. How long it will take obligation to overwhelm spirit. If this was a D... Hmm. How long it will take? It will take a mere scintilla of a moment. A... How long it will take? Obligation. I keep, going through, I keep thinking of the word duty and I've got to stop thinking of the word duty. To overwhelm spirit. The spirit of something is the sense of it. Are there any short synonyms for spirit that I can see see going on in here? In here. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so we're stuck, really. If this was something, what, what did I think? It might be proselytized or something. Proselyti I thought it was proselytized, actually. That would give me a T here. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be something like this. Proselytized. Now, I'm so rubbish at spelling that I don't... I have a horrible feeling this Y might be there. <laughs> How many E's? Uh, no, I have got the correct number of E's. Proselytized. Oh dear, I don't see, I'm just so bad at spelling. Could it be this? I mean, that looks horrible. That, I mean, prose is about writing, isn't it? So it feels more likely to be that. Proselytized. Well, let's, okay, let's see if we can justify this L. Uh, sorry, this S here. Continuous exercise almost causes stroke. continuous 
solid it's going to be something like that isn't it solidus isn't that one of isn't that a stroke of the pen but why Oh, I, li I like that answer because it's so ludicrous. Yeah, could it, could we describe this? Could solid use, if something's in solid use, it is in continuous use. So it would be exercised continuously. So continuous exercise, solid use, almost. So we chop off the end letter, we get solidus. Now I can show you this now because I'm not going to change that answer. Solidus. I think it is. Yeah, it's like a stroke of the pen. Well, it says stroke. It's like a, a slash thing. So now, am I going to change this spelling? No. Let's let's check it. I mean, if it, if I've got it wrong, then I've got it wrong. But there we go. It's right. I have got the right spelling. Um, Prosl. Oh, hang on, my phone's buzzing at me. Let me just see what that's about. Oh, that's fine. That's not that. That's not an issue. Um, hmm. Well, converted. Yes, sorry. Someone who has changed from one religion to another. A convert. Sorry, I was looking. I don't know what I was thinking about there, but not the right thing. Probably about my text message. Um, so that's great. Now this one still looks like timeshare then. Uh, how long it will take obligation to overwhelm spirit? Or could it be time space or something? Is there? No. How long it will take is the time span. I mean, if uneatable, uneatable is right. I'm sure that's right. How long it will take? Oh, let's put time. How long it will take is the time. Obligation. To overwhelm spirit. Uh, the clock goes. It probably means I've had a while. I have had a while. But I am explaining it as well. So I, I don't feel too bad about how long I've been. And then this one as well, which I don't understand. So let's try to go back to this one. Angus Policeman involved in international deal ah well i've had one thought oh that would be so clever could this be angers policeman and if it could be angers policeman could that be FLIC? I think French lieutenant in charge or something. I like that as I that I really like that as a thought, and I really respect it as a clue. Anger. I mean, how can Angus policeman? have to be Angers policemen. That's so beautiful, isn't it? That's really, really brilliant, if that's right. I love that. I hope it's right. Look, um, I'm not changing it, so I'm going to allow myself to look, it, look up F-L-I-C just to... There! Oh, it is a French word for a policeman. I wonder what the etymology is for that. So it is Angers policeman. That's, that's brilliant, isn't it? So we've just got this one to do. And I don't know what it is. Uh, now, have we got Pangram going on? We have got a Q in the grid. No, I'm not seeing any J's or Z's. No, it's not Pangram. So we can't use that to try and help us. Uh, how long it will take? I mean, is that just time? How long it will take? Obligation. To overwhelm spirit. I don't know what's going on here. Obligation. Time. Maybe it's because I've not thought of the right word. You know, if I've thought, if I could, I think it's time something. 
time <laughs> time and uh, what is it then <laughs> it can't be it can't be time space there can't be a word time space there's space time continuum but this isn't about the space time continuum this has got nothing to do with next generation <laughs> um i don't think time space no obligation to overwhelm spirit and what spirit is being overwhelmed in that the spirit of something is the telos of it it's it's i mean there is a ka is a word for a spirit i think and it, I want to say that's an Egyptian soul or something, a K.A., a car. Let's, I mean, I'm not using that, by the way. I, 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 I'm, I definitely think this is too obscure for the... There we go. An Egyptian spirit, K.A. I mean, if that is K.A., because that's an Egyptian spirit, I will, I will be astonished. Um... <laughs> Um, how long it will take obligation? How long it will take obligation? An obligation is a to overwhelm spirit. Wow, I have not, I really don't know what this is. I mean, I know there's a word timeshare, but I associate it with holidays and like, you know, you have a timeshare for a couple of weeks in the Algarve or something, if you're lucky. How long it will take obligation to overwhelm? To overwhelm is to... What word for overwhelm could we possibly put in this series of letters? Or more likely, it's a word for obligation, which overwhelms or surrounds a word for a spirit. That's almost certainly not K.A. Um, the spirit of some muse? No. Time scale. Okay, time scale is the answer, isn't it? But I don't know why. Time scale is how long something will take to overwhelm. Oh, mezcal. Is that some sort of Mexican? Is that a Mexican spirit? I think it might be. I don't know much about Mexican spirits ever since I had a blind date at university that involved tequila. I've always sh shied away from Mexican spirits. Hmm but an obligation is a tie isn't it so I, I that's what i would go for so is there anything else that's in any way um so well, I, that's what i'm definitely submitting so let's check mescal and let's see if it is a spirit the peyote cactus found in mexico so i wasn't a million miles away chewed or, dr or drunk in infusion as an intoxicant the spirit distilled from the fermented juice of the agave. Is it agave or is, did you say agave? I'm, I'm, or agave? I'm never sure. Let's have a look at that. Agave, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, so that's that. Brindle. Oh, let's just submit it and then we can... Oh, submit without leaderboard is what I'm meant to do when I'm doing these, isn't it? I'll be gutted if this is wrong. It is correct. That's good. And let's just check brindle, which was the other word that I think is a word. Marked with spots or streaks. There we go. Brindle. The state of being brindled. It doesn't say it's, it's specifically related to a horse, which is what I thought it was, but that could be wrong. I mean, that's a. I don't know if anyone watching this thinks this when they watch me solve, but they must. I often think as I'm going through, you must think I'm a, I'm very close to being an idiot because there are I'm as I go through it I'm constantly saying I vaguely think that might be a thing I think that might be a thing I think I've heard of that 
but there's no actual real knowledge behind most of it. Oh, I think there's an Egyptian spirit called a car. I mean, it's just a continuous 40 minutes of me, ex 50 minutes of me exposing degrees of ignorance. Oh, Clepsydra. Let's look up that. Um, Clepsydra. Oh, Slepsydra. No, no, no. Clepsydra. Here we go. An instrument for measuring time by the trickling of water. A water clock. What a beautiful word. A Clepsydra. That is beautiful. What a beautiful word. Um, it's a brilliant crossword as well, isn't it? And as 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 happened last time with Jason's puzzle, it, it you know it, it showcased my ignorance to the maximum. Oh, lady tress, ladies tresses. I didn't look up that either. Lady, ladies tresses. Oh, hang on, didn't jump to anything there. It's probably because it's got a hyphen. Let's go, ladies tresses. There we go. Where is it? Here we go. The or an orchid of the genus Spiranthes with small white flowers. Well, well, well. Has two possible openings for the word ladies. It's, <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's a brilliant puzzle uh, that's made me feel a bit a bit daft. But that's that's all good. Let me know in the comments how you got on. Let me know how many of these you've got before me. I think 16 across a lot of you will have got a long time before me. Um, and yes, I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And if you could, if you do enjoy these videos, please do drop a comment or give the video a like. We're trying to teach the YouTube algorithm that these videos are worth doing. And it's a slow but steady process. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.